will now have the first speaker for the government. <laughs> Thank you all for coming out here. Uh, I'd like to thank my uh, partner. I'd like to thank all of you who came out here for the extra credit and hopefully for some debate as well. <laughs> who knows? Uh, I'd like to thank our uh, opponents and uh, I'd like to thank them for you know getting dressed up all night to discuss how you do it with us. <laughs> now, the resolution is this house. This Honey Boo house. We would like to define this house as a substantial part of American pop culture. And is Honey Boo house, we define as belongs to Honey Boo Boo. So the full resolution reads a substantial part of American pop culture belongs to Honey Boo Boo. Now, a we have a criteria for this debate. Now, this is how you should judge the debate, which is a preponderance of evidence. Which side produced the better evidence to put the claim? And I think clearly, as the debate goes on, you will see that the government side has presented the much better evidence for Honey Boo Boo being a substantial part of American pop culture. Now, our first point is television. You turn on TV, TLC, and you watch Honey Boo Boo. Simple, right? Well, it's turned into a phenomenon. In fact, millions of people watch her show every week. There were so many people that it was renewed for a second season and got three holiday specials. Furthermore, the ratings for the show were so good that every single week it aired on that day, it was one of the top five rated cable shows that day. In fact, then Here Comes Honey Boo Boo beat the season premiere of South Park in the ratings. <laughs> For real. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's incredible. Who would have thought? But that's how big a phenomenon Honey Boo Boo has become and how prevalent it is in our pop culture. Now, she's also done countless interviews on CNN, daytime talk shows, Jimmy Kimmel Live, all over the place. You see Honey Boo Boo everywhere. And this is part of our pop culture. And this is why Honey Boo Boo is part of our pop culture, for good or for bad. She's there. Also, um, Honey Boo Boo has been parodied on such shows as South Park. Now, maybe, maybe that's because South Park wanted a little bit of revenge for you know, Honey Boo Boo beating their season premiere. But also, Saturday Night Live and various uh, late night talk shows, Honey Boo Boo has appeared, further cementing her position in the pathos of our pop culture. Now, convention number two, the internet. All over the internet, you can go and you can find Honey Boo Boo everywhere. You can look on Twitter. In the past 24 hours alone, there have been 250 tweets on, at hashtag Honey Boo Boo. And the show hasn't even aired for a month. The show isn't even on right now and people are still talking about it. That's how big a part of pop culture Honey Boo Boo has. Now, Honey Boo Boo also has her own subreddit, believe it or not. And there are thousands of viral videos out there with millions of views. You just go on YouTube, type in Honey Boo Boo, there's a video with 2 million votes, 3 million views, or even more right there, cemented in our pop culture. And the third contention is cultural assimilation. This goes beyond just the media, but your day-to-day -day conversation. You probably know who Honey Boo Boo is, and if you don't, you know somebody who does. Now, Honey Boo Boo is everywhere. It's in we know a lot about Honey Boo Boo. We have an opinion on Honey Boo Boo. I'm sure the opposition has an opinion on Honey Boo Boo. And uh, Honey Boo Boo apparently was also in Dr. Coleman's house, otherwise she wouldn't have selected this topic for us. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Honey Boo Boo is even in the White House because Joe Biden even said that he admitted to catching snippets of the show on Air Force Two, calling it quite the phenomenon. That's right, folks. Honey Boo Boo has reached the highest levels of our government. That's how high Honey Boo Boo has got. That's how deep it's ingrained in our pop culture. Now, if you look at the case, look at it. You need to judge which side has more evidence at the end. And think of the evidence we have presented. Television. Millions have watched Honey Boo Boo on TV. And 
the show even beat the season premiere of South Park. That's pretty big. She's appeared on numerous interviews all over the place. Turn on the TV. There's Honey Boo Boo. The internet. There have been memes, countless memes on the internet. You just go. Uh, I've gone to websites where there are pages and pages of nothing but Honey Boo Boo memes all over. You see pictures everywhere of Honey Boo Boo. And everybody you talk to, you see Honey Boo Boo. So I think it's clear that Honey Boo Boo is a large part of our pop culture. And with that, we must support the government. Thank you. We will now have the first speaker from the opposition. I wanted to thank everybody in attendance. I especially wanted to thank our judges for coming out, as well as my partner and the team. Thank you for the great clash today. So, we will accept the government's resolution of uh, this house, uh, this, this house being defined as being substantial to our pop culture. Honey Boo Boo is substantial to our pop culture. First, I'm gonna go ahead and go over the government's contentions quickly, and then I'm gonna go right into our case. The first contention is TV. You turn on TV, and there's Honey Boo Boo. The thing is, is that according to TV Guide, only five of the top 100 TV shows are true reality. Of course, there's The Voice, there's American Idol, there's gonna be Big Brother, but none of these truly reinforce stereotypes, which is the heart of what this resolution is really all about. All, um, only two of the top 100 actually uh, reinforce stereotypes, and that's according to TV Guide. None of the top TV shows are on TLC, and TLC has not won an Emmy for a single one of these shows that they've come out with in the last few years. Not a single in 12 years. Uh, there have been no winners for the Emmys in the reality TV category that have been on TLC, and none of them for 12 years have reinforced stereotypes, especially of the nature of Honey Boo Boo, which as, as we know, propagates the kind of white trash, real country, uh, <laughs> uh, type, uh, type of culture. And, and so what we're saying is first off, yes, they might get some ratings, but they're not getting the top ratings. They're not in the top, they're not winning Emmys. They're not significant to our culture in any regard. This is our house. We create what's on TV. It does not create what is us. These are just trends. Woo! These are just trends. These are just fads. I remember when I was younger, I used to play Pogs. Pogs are no longer in existence. You won't find them. All right? So these are just fads. These are just trends. And if we stop watching Honey Boo Boo, it goes away. <laughs> Attention, and I'm going to go quickly is internet and Twitter and, and how there's a lot of people tweeting and uh, of course there may be people but maybe people tweeting but again it is just a fact it is just entertainment and what we're saying here is the opposition is yeah you can turn on the TV you're gonna find Jersey Shore you're gonna find Honey Boo Boo but it does not influence who you are deep down inside as a person your friends, your family, your integrity, those things influence who you are as a person, not this entertainment on TV. Question. I'll take the first and only question. When, uh, how much does pop culture really influence your values and your relationships? None. And that's the point. That's the opposition. And, and I want to get right into our case, and I'll go very quickly. Contention number one, this is our house. We create what's on TV. It doesn't create what is us. And if we stop watching, it goes away. Contention number two is mom eats media. It's your family. There's been no known research that has shown a connection, a cause and effect between reality TV and adjustment. It is your entertainment. And the biggest predictor for achievement and adjustment is parental involvement. And that's from the Department of Education and Skills. And so I just want to reiterate, this is not Honey Boo Boo's house. This is our house. And for that, I urge you to vote for We will now have the second speaker for the government. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this debate. I'd like to thank my partner and brother for helping me prepare this case. And I'd like to thank our esteemed opponents for this great clash that we're going to have. So, let's get down to the essence of this debate. The 
The essence of this debate is not whether Honey Boo Boo is influential or not, but whether Honey Boo Boo is in our pop culture. Honey Boo Boo is pervasive in our popular culture. Honey Boo Boo is everywhere. Honey Boo Boo is in the White House. Honey Boo Boo is on Twitter. Honey Boo Boo is on TV. If Honey Boo Boo was not popular, her show would not have gotten renewed. That is a fact. That is how mass communication and TV work. If she wasn't popular, she would have been booted out. That is a fact. But she has endured because of her popularity. And our opponents stated that uh, we create TV, but TV does not create us. Well, we create Honey Boo Boo, and Honey Boo Boo has been successful. We have created Honey Boo Boo, and Honey Boo Boo is in the house. Honey Boo Boo <laughs> is here. That is the essence of this debate. Now, we, they have said that over time, Honey Boo Boo might disappear. However, respectfully, that is irrelevant. What matters is that Honey Boo Boo is in the here, and Honey Boo Boo is in the now. If she is here, if she is in this house, then we have won this debate. It doesn't matter if she lasts another five minutes or another 20 years. What matters is the fact that she is here now. And as my partner stated, how much does popular culture really affect your relationships? My opponent said none. This disproves their own argument. We are debating as to whether Honey Boo Boo is in pop culture, and their argument is, oh, Honey Boo Boo is, is a bad influence. But that doesn't matter. What matters is that she is here. Honey Boo Boo is pervasive on television. She has parody shows like South Park, like Saturday Night Live, like Jay Leno, like Jimmy Kimmel Live, making fun of Honey Boo Boo. And, the, and these are shows designed for network TV, for the broadest possible audience. If these jokes weren't funny, and if people did not know about Honey Boo Boo, they wouldn't be making these jokes. The fact is that they are making these jokes because Honey Boo Boo is in this house. Honey Boo Boo is in popular culture. And Honey Boo Boo is especially prevalent on the internet, as we have stated. Over 250 tweets in the last 24 hours, and the show isn't even on the air. People are talking about Honey Boo Boo. This is a sign that Honey Boo Boo is in our everyday vocabulary. Honey Boo Boo is in popular culture. This is a fact. And that is what this debate is about. On a preponderance of evidence, who has the most evidence to support their case? We do. The government does. Because of the renewed Honey Boo Boo, because of the three holiday specials, because of the parody shows, because of the subreddit, because of the 250 tweets every day, because of the millions of views on the YouTube videos, because of Joe Biden's statement, proving our point that this is a phenomenon. And if you believe that, and as we have this evidence, you must vote for the government. Thank you. Speaker for the opposition. Good afternoon, everyone. I would first off like to thank my political partner, Tony. Uh, thank the opposition for showing up. Everyone in the SDU and the LAMP on the A team, thank you for all putting this on. And thank you to all of the racers out there. I see one or two, uh, so thank you for showing up. Um, first, I would like to go over my opponent's argument, and then I will more clearly define and establish our own argument. Uh, our opponents, the way they define this is that Honey Boo Boo is a substantial part of pop culture, belongs to Honey Boo Boo. So they're saying if Honey Boo Boo is here, then their argument is correct. But the way they define it is it is a substantial part of pop culture. And I'm here to tell you that it is not a substantial part of our pop culture. First off, they want to mention the television for um, Honey Boo Boo. Uh, you know what show I really like is actually uh, The Real World. Yeah, uh, 
wait, oh no, no one watches that anymore. Oh, that's right, and that had way more than two seasons. The point is, is the real world is not substantial. Okay, and Honey Boo Boo, as we previously stated, out of the top 100 shows, according to the TV Guide, most popular by viewership, Honey Boo Boo's not on there. In fact, the the network that airs Honey Boo Boo, TLC, does not have a single show in the top 100. Honey Boo Boo isn't even TLC's top rated show. So to say it's a substantial part of less than 5%, and that's a substantial part of our population. Question? I will take the one question. Um, do you think that uh, South Park is a substantial part of our pop culture? South Park has been around for years, whether they have 13, 14 seasons? 16. 16. I would say 16 years is a lot longer than <laughs> then, then if it was so substantial, why, why couldn't it be Honey Boo Boo? You asked one question, and I took it. You don't get two. Okay, moving on to <laughs> number two, the internet. Uh, they want to say that Honey Boo Boo is widely viewed on the internet, and this is true. But you know what's most commonly viewed on the internet? Cat videos. That's right. Yeah. Woo! All right. So if your cat at home knocking around mothballs has more significance than Honey Boo Boo Child, then I think we can call that not a significant influence. Number three, Joe Biden has seen a few snippets of Honey Boo Boo, sure enough. But I haven't seen him scatty wrestling or anything like that, so I'm not thinking it's influenced him all that much. Uh, now to get into our argument. This is our house. This is our house. We determine the media. The media does not determine us. Uh, this has been proved, uh, like uh, even our opponents have stated. If we don't watch it, it isn't there. Uh, so it is not an effect on us. We affect Honey Boo Boo. And more importantly, mom meets media. Okay, a significant part of pop culture, our culture is primarily defined by our parents, our caregivers. Those are the people who've had the most significant influence on your life and our culture. Uh, I do not think they should take a back seat to Honey Boo Boo. Uh, this has been scientifically proven, um, as my partner stated, and there's no evidence to support that reality TV has that significant effect on pop culture. Uh, and also, it, we were not saying that Honey Boo Boo is a bad influence, as our opponents are trying to uh, Anyway, we are saying it has no influence, and if it does, it is very little, and the very little influence it may or may not have does not um, make, let it meet the requirements to be considered a substantial part of pop culture. So if you think Honey Boo Boo isn't here to stay, if you think that your life is not determined by Honey Boo Boo, then please vote for the opposition. Thank you. Woo! Examination period. Government, do you have a question for the opposition? Yes, we do. If Honey Boo Boo wasn't popular, why did she get renewed for two seasons and not one, not two, but three holiday specials? Because you're watching it. That's you the point. You stop watching it, it goes away. It's not influencing your personal well, relationship. Well, we are watching it. But, but, but we are watching it. And we are also saying that there are over a hundred shows that we watch more. Those are significant. Opposition, you have a question for the government. Yeah, I was just wondering, how often do you watch Honey Boo Boo? Every time it airs. <laughs> Yes. If those top hundred shows affect supposedly our culture more, then why don't we talk about those shows? Why are we talking about Honey Boo Boo? Because it's a fad. It's only a trend. And I'm saying there are shows that we talk about more, like The Voice. I talk to that a lot more. Uh, Big Bang Theory. Uh, Are there any more questions from either side? With that, we will move on to the judge's question. Judge Morris, do you have a question for either the government or opposition? 
I can't resist. I'm going to ask a question. Uh, I'm going to pose this question to the government. Um, government, can you give uh, any examples or demographics on actual viewers versus just how many people in the world know about Honey Boo Boo? Because I think there are probably people that simply know who she is but have not watched the show. In terms of the popularity in general, can you give us some differences there on the demographics versus just awareness? Um, yes, the show is actually the number, number one rated cable show among women, 18 to 29. It's done very well among uh, ratings such as Democrats, which is 18 to 49 young people. Um, the advertiser coded Democrats. Also, um, millions of people watch Saturday Night Live each Saturday, and Honey Boo Boo made appearances there. And just the, the fact of the, um, the 250 Twitter uh, tweets per day that she gets, even when it's not airing, as well as the viewers of Jimmy Kimmel Live and so forth, are all aware of Honey Boo Boo. And, and even if you haven't watched the show, people are still talking about it. Can I get the opposition opportunity to speak to that as well? Yeah, absolutely. We do have kind of conflicting research because we looked on the TV Guide uh, website and it had, let me see, okay, it had, out of the, uh, Here Comes Honey Boo, it was not even in the top 100 shows, and that might be because it's so new. It only has had the one season. And that kind so of you're saying it has time to build on that? <laughs> I'm saying that according to the CSC, they said the biggest demographic is 18 to 49 year olds. I'm not sure where you got your information. So. That's exactly what I said. But it, it's not, according to TV, it's not on the top shows. And they haven't won any Emmys. And TLC doesn't win anything. And so I think that the Emmys, the Oscars, those kind of show what has had a substantial impact on our culture. And I respect critical acclaim. And it hasn't gotten any critical acclaim. And just like you said, Mr. Morris, it has gotten some awareness, but it hasn't gotten deep ingrained in who we are as a people. It hasn't gotten to that level yet. And for that, that's why we're urging to vote for the opposition. Do you have any questions for either side? Yes. Judge Morris, is there any more questions you would like to ask? No, that's all. Thank you. Okay. We will now take questions from the audience. Again, please stand when you're called upon and speak loudly and address the government or opposition. Are there any questions? Going once? Going twice? Yes, you in the middle. Um, I just want to clarify, are you saying that it has made a substantial impact on the culture? Or, or, can you state your resolution again? Oh, yes. Um, the official resolution was this house is Honey Boo Boo's house, and we define it as a substantial part of pop, pop culture belongs to Honey Boo Boo. So you're saying that our pop culture in America has been heavily influenced by Honey Boo Boo? We're saying that Honey Boo Boo has a, a part in pop culture that has a large part. Are there any more questions? Yes, you all the way in the back. Can you please speak very loudly since you're in the back? Uh, how, do we, how do we measure how much of an effect a show has on uh, society? Do we measure it based on viewership? Like, or like, how do we measure the effect it has? Is your question directed towards the government or the opposition? Government. Government? Did you hear this question? We can, we can measure it by many means. One is, as we stated in our case, by the social media aspect, is that millions and millions of people are watching the Honey Boo Boo related videos. Millions and millions of people are tweeting. You know, people are on Reddit talking about her. And uh, as well as viewership of her show, as well as viewership of shows where she appears. So there are means um, that you can do kind of a head, head count and take a representative sample. Yes, and you, if you ask practically anybody, they'll have an opinion on the show. That's how you can tell that it's dominated our pop culture, is if you ask basically anybody, they can tell you what they think about the show. Okay. We will now have the closing argument from the opposition. I wanted to thank everybody in attendance again. I want to thank our judges again for coming out and the opposition, as well as my partner for helping me to prepare this. I asked um, during cross ex a question, how often do they watch it? And they say they watch it all the time. But as they said in their, their intros, they're applying to Princeton, they're applying to Yale, 
These are very well-adjusted, bright young men. It has not impacted their personalities. It hasn't impacted their potential in any regard. And the opposition is saying, you can watch entertainment like that, and it doesn't have to influence you as a person, and it doesn't have to influence your culture. And <laughs> Furthermore, there is a huge difference between general awareness and significance. I don't know Honey Boo Boo's real name, do you? Do you know their mother's real name? Do you know what state they live in? Probably none of that you can answer because it's just a general awareness. What we are saying, they have to meet the threshold of significant, a significant impact on our culture. The level that um, many, what is it, huge, uh, the Rolling Stones, Bono, maybe the, the, the kind of prevalence of Tool, an incredible metal band that I used to listen to quite some time ago. Have they reached that? Has many people reached that level yet? I would say no. I, th I don't think in one season you can reach the level of significance to have an impact on my life. And um, I did want to say, Honey Boo Boo did not build us. We built Honey Boo Boo. If we stop watching, it just goes away. And that shows that it does not have a significant impact on our culture. Who we are, we will get past this. And just like Jersey Shore, if we stop watching, it will go away. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think at the end of this debate, we need to think about what this debate was really about. And the question is, is Honey Boo Boo a part of our popular culture? And I think at the end of this debate, the answer of that question has to be yes. Now this de debate isn't about whether Honey Boo Boo is good or bad. This debate isn't about whether Honey Boo Boo personally affects you. As my opponents uh, just said, popular culture does not have an impact on who you are. Because it's that, just that. Pop culture is what we're talking about. They seem to be implying that pop culture should have some grand influence on our values. But they themselves admit that this is simply not true. We are talking about whether or not Honey Boo Boo has a large part in our popular culture. And we have shown, through our preponderance of evidence, that it does. What evidence have they brought up? The only evidence that they have really cited is this in the general sense, Honey Boo Boo doesn't affect you. But the truth is it's there. You talk about it. You're listening to this debate, for goodness sakes. Joe Biden has, understands what Honey Boo Boo is. It's in our culture. It's everywhere. When I say the words Honey Boo Boo, an image pops in your mind. Feelings come up. You have an idea of this because it's ingrained in pop culture. These jokes that are made on these comedy shows, you get them because they're part of the pop culture. And they would not be making these jokes if it wasn't part of our pop culture. So at the end of the day, this debate isn't about whether or not Honey Boo Boo is a good thing or a positive influence or an honor culture. It's about whether it's part of our culture, good or bad, but it's there, and you can't deny it. You really can't. You know that it's there, because you go on the internet, you go on Twitter, you go on YouTube, whatever, and you see Honey Boo Boo's there. You talk to your friends, your family, they know about Honey Boo Boo. It's ingrained in our pop culture, and that's why you must vote government. Thank you. You may both be seated. It is now time to take the audience vote. For those in favor of the government, 